Okay guys, welcome back. We're continuing on here. We've drawn our uncorrected power phaser diagram and it looks like I'm correcting the 90%. So now I'm going to draw my 90% power phaser diagram. Okay. And uh, same as single phase now, right? P is equal to 12763 watts, right? This VARS here, this 10,644, it's, you know, it's the inductor, right? VARS XL. And uh, if I was correcting the unity, guys, my capacitor bank would be that whole bit, right? But I'm not correcting the unity, I'm correcting 90%, so my cap's going to take care of some of that, okay? This is going to be my cap bank, right? And this is going to be VARS X, right? And this is going to be VA. And this is going to be the 90% that I'm trying to correct to, okay, guys? And so no different than single phase now. I'm going to calculate my VA. It's going to be 12,763, 12,763 divided by 0.9, 14,181 volt amps, okay? And I'm going to calculate my VARS X using Pythagorean theorem, okay? So it's going to be that squared minus 12,763 squared equals root and I know I'm going fast guys pause the video okay or you can slow it down hit the little gear icon and slow it down to uh, 75 percent speed or something like that I don't know okay so that's not your capacitor bank that's your vars that you're gonna live within the circuit and so my capacitor bank here guys is going to be the 10,644 that I started with minus the 6181 that I'm going to live with. So let's do that. 10, 644 minus that. Looks like it's 4,463 VARS. Okay. That's the whole bank. And uh, maybe I have enough information to answer these questions now because I've completed both phaser diagrams. Let's see. What is the line current after correcting to 90%? Well, the line current can be calculated because I know my VA. I line is going to be VA over E line times root three, right? And so I'm gonna do that for a second here. E line is gonna be 208 times root three equals, okay? And then I'm gonna go, did I do that right? Yep. Then I'm gonna go the VA over that. Uh, so, 14181 divided by that answer equals. Looks like it's going to be 39, guys. 39.36 amps after correction. Now, was uh, 46.13? We've reduced it and we've improved the phase angle. Okay, so that's the answer to B. The answer to C. You know, I don't have much room here, so I might have to get another piece of paper out. Let's do that, okay, guys? So I don't get, I mean, it's already super crowded, right? But uh, let's uh, see if we can calculate C here. All right, guys. So C, the value, calculate the caps in VARS each to correct the 0.9. Well, there's my cap bank, okay? So it's 4463. So it is 4463 divided by 3. All right, so it's basically this whole bank here is 4463 VARS, okay? And uh, since there are three of them, I can just divide that by three and I'll get, uh, you know, each of them, 4463 divided by three. Looks like they're going to be 1488 VARS each, okay? Now, why do I keep getting you guys to calculate how many VARS those are each? Well, because if you were actually doing this power factor correction, that's what you'd have to order. 1.5 K bars, three of them. Okay, so connect them in delta, and you'd correct this crazy thing. Okay, guys. Um, last question. Okay, D. What does it say there? Calculate the caps in microfarads. Okay, well, two stepper, right? Step one. Um, X C is equal to E squared 
over vars. Okay. Now, what's the voltage? Well, the line voltage is 208, but I need the phase voltage. It's the voltage dropping across that squared divided by the vars of that. But because it's delta, it's 208, okay? Because the phase voltage will be 208. So it's going to be 208 squared. If it was Y, I'd have to divide by root 3 to get my phase voltage. 1488, okay? So it is 208 squared divided by 1488. Looks like they're 29 ohms each. Okay. Just double checking here, make sure I'm not screwing up. I sometimes do. Eh, let's just let's just hope for the best here. Okay. Step two, guys. Uh, C is equal to one over two pi f x c. One over two times pi times sixty times twenty nine point oh eight. You, I mean, you guys have probably noticed by now that I make. Tons of mistakes, right? 2 times pi times 60 times 29.08. You know, I misspeak all the time, too. I'm sure you've noticed that as well, right? So this is 0 0.00009.12 microfarads, oh, okay, which is uh, 91. 0.2 microfarads. All right, guys. And uh, that is the correct answer. So it looks like I've been doing it correct all along. Super easy to make a mistake, guys, and I get that. You got to do every step really carefully. Okay, guys. And yes, I make them a lot of mistakes, and you'll notice probably that very little editing gets done on these videos. Okay. So you're getting the true, the real experience. Okay. Because I'd be making all these mistakes in in the classroom as well, all right, and where I would misspeak and I wouldn't even notice. And I, you know, I'm pretty pretty much horrified every time I watch one of these videos because I go like, oh, man, I can't believe I said that or I made that mistake and I didn't notice. So forgive me for that, guys. And uh, if it's a really big mistake, I'll try to edit the video and correct it or start over sometimes, <laughs> okay, guys? But uh, eh, it's harder than it looks, all this uh, teaching and writing and watching the camera and you know, making sure it's all coming together perfectly. I know what I'm doing, but I still screw up because there's too much going on sometimes, right? And if, and I'm human, let's face it. All right, guys, so terrible. All right, guys, but uh, we've figured this out. For homework, guys, I want you to try unit four handout 12. All right, a bunch of power factor correction questions there. Do your homework, guys. Make sure you're doing it because uh, that makes the test a lot easier. All right. Have a good day.